Welcome back to Speedy 3D, Ruby Show Designs and Tutorial. Oh man, I forgot again. I have to have a new change of clothes for every week, for every video, and I've already worn this, so we gotta keep it fresh. Let's get changed. Alright, let's try this take two. Welcome back to Speedy 3D, Ruby Show Designs and Tutorials for 3D Printing. Today, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks how to clean your printer. Not only will it make it look better, but it will also help your printer run better. Let's get to the video. Now you guys are probably thinking, I don't want to do any more cleaning. But your printer probably needs it, and I've let my printer sit for about a month. Normally I clean it out about every week, but I've not been doing it the correct way, and my mom says... Anyway, the scraps get all over the floor and she has to vacuum up, and they don't go through the vacuum well. So, I'll show you the right and wrong way to clean your printer. Let's get into it. So guys, there's two types of cleaning. First of all is the just surface cleaning to make it look better and pick up unnecessary scraps around the printer. And the second kind is there's sometimes moving parts that have uh, some buildup of PLA or whatever dust and they don't run as smoothly and we can clear some of those out. So let's get into the first type. Now first of all Oh, there's some quarters up here. And put those to the side. And then, uh, let's see. Back here, you can't see it right now, in the tray, there is tons of specks of PLA. Also on the bed, we can just pick up some printer scraps. And then we can just kind of go like that and wipe off the frame, and we're good. Just wipe some of this on the floor down here. Now guys, that's not the proper way to just brush it on the floor, and then the vacuum uh, has to pick it up and get in the corners, and it gets stuck into the carpet. So we gotta use this. Ah. So the first type is the unwanted scraps, and you'll find those under here and all over the bed. See, I haven't picked some up off there, and just in the cracks and crevices of the frame. So let's get into the cleaning those. Now the second kind of cleaning is where you clean the actual joints and moving parts. So you'll see there is buildup and crud in these wheels that run along the frame for the X, Y, and Z axis. Here on the Z axis, it's just the screws. And then the fans have some buildup in there that we could blow out and clean that up. So let's get cleaning. Now guys, if you just scoot your printer over, there's a lot more to discover. Let's clean this up. Wow, look at that. I even found my Revolutionary War video print. Now here's the second part. So first we have the wheels here, and this Kleenex is completely white. So if I put it in front of the wheel and start wiping with it, it'll take all of that grease and grime off. And I do it for all the wheels. Your printer may be different, but you'll find out some way to make these rules apply. So we'll get the top ones here. Wow, 
we see all of this grime and that was all on the printer so The last thing to clean for the second part is the screen and it may not look dirty right now but when I turn it off you can see some of that dirt and you can use a regular old cloth but I like to use a microfiber cloth that's meant for screens and the screen part is looking better. Hope this video was helpful and let you know about what areas to clean on your 3D printer and uh, how to do those. So, if you haven't already, you can comment down below if you have questions or I didn't explain something good in the video. And then you guys can subscribe and like and hit the notifications bell. Thanks for watching.